Okay, now, now you see, um, you see the document I shared, yes? Students, yes? Hello? Yes, sir. Okay, good. So let's start. Uh, uh, okay, Th this is, uh, of course, the... Um, good morning again, everyone. This is the lesson you missed last time, so we'll deal with it, okay? So we'll talk about touristic destination. What do you think uh, touristic destination mean? Let's start with this simple question. How can you define touristic destination? What is a touristic destination? Sir? Mm -hmm. Places that we can go as tourists. Well, places that tourists visit. That's good. So you, the city, um, of course, in which uh, we live all together, is among the uh, common touristic destinations. So we'll talk about, or we'll try to identify important information about the history of the town, of course, throughout reading text. Then we pass to uh, speaking skills and we focus on talking about some attractions in the hometown and we'll close with some vocabulary related to the topic, okay? Uh, here were okay, okay, so, there, okay uh, there were okay there were the objectives of this session okay so let's start okay let's start with this kind of vocabulary activity and introductive activity to today's lesson look at the pictures okay look at the pictures for a minute or a few seconds just look at the pictures, nothing else. Good. One of you now to read instructions at the top. You got introduction to the topic and you got an instruction here. Read it. One of you? Sir. Sir. One. Okay. One, one of the students, only one. Yes? Only one of you, yes? Okay, so. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Working individually, uh -huh. look at the given pictures carefully, uh -huh. run in the blanks the words the best describe each of them. Mm -hmm. We have Medina, mm -hmm. camels, mm -hmm. sand, sea, mm -hmm. carpet, tourist, cellar, menu, visitors, surfboard. Okay, so you take a minute, okay, and you have here uh, some blanks, okay, so you got them here, okay, down of the pictures. Each picture, there were some, uh, like two blanks under the picture, okay, so the first picture, there are two blanks under, the, under it, and the coming picture, there are two blanks under it. It's up to you to choose from the box two words that best describe two items like front picture or all of it if you like okay so that depends of course on your choice of words because many words are possible okay take few seconds okay can you share your answers now concerning the picture number one this one that on which the cursor is put Mm -hmm. Carpets. Carpets, that's good. That's good. This is a choice. What's next? Medina. Medina, that's good. Okay, that's good. Other answers, because other answers are possible. Sellers. Sellers, good job. You find them, of course, here on the stores, Medina. okay? Here is a store, and this is a store number two, and this is a store number three. And you, the person, for example, sitting down here is a sailor, okay? So all these people are sailors. That's a good job. Other, other words, other possible words that you can see in the picture? Menu. Yeah. So Sir this visitors. one? 
Um, let's like the day menu, okay? The day menu, which is not maybe the menu detailed one, maybe found inside that small restaurant, but this one is the day menu that like food served that day, or maybe a special like dish that is served uh, that day. So it is like one of the rituals of restaurants to have like this. Um, I mean. Um, boards uh, in front of these restaurants to show uh, things like that. That's a good job. Well, let's move to the second picture. What do you think are the two possible ways that can describe it? Yes? So, yeah, go ahead. C. So there is the C. There is the C and there is the surfboard. There is the C and there is the surfboard. That's correct. So and we have the also the sand. Sand, we we, we have sands, we have sands, so good, camels. good job. Camels too, yes. Uh, they are, yeah, they are, uh, of course, uh, camels there are like to, are there, of course, to offer tourists some um, adventure, huh? like adventure activities and um, uh, related to having fun and so. Uh, what else? Uh, the tourists, for example, here, what do you think she's going to do? Surfboarding. Okay. Yeah, she's because she to... has, yeah, maybe she's going to practice surfing. Yes, because she got like a surfboard. That's good. Mm -hmm. And of course, throughout the activity, we can um, uh, derive uh, and realize some activities that tourists uh, do uh, while they are staying in the city. That's a good job. Let's pass the speaking activity now. You did well, guys, because uh, most of your answers are okay. Let's pass the coming activity now. One of you to read instructions. Anyone? Go ahead. Sir? Go ahead, quickly. Work individually use the same pictures from the previous exercise to answer the following questions. Then get in pairs and compare them with your partners. One, do you like mm -hmm. tourists? Two, mm -hmm. why are tourists important? Three, mm -hmm. what are some of most important attractions in your city? Mm -hmm. Four, what accommodations can be found in your city? That's perfect job. Let's start uh, with the first question. Do you like tourists? Do you like tourists? Personally, uh -huh, I, uh -huh. mm -hmm. I don't have any problem with them, so I I can tell that I like them. Mm -hmm. Other students? Other students are pos other possible answers. Do you like tourists or visitors to your own town? Yes. 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 Okay, so the most of you, of course, said yes. Let's pass the coming question. Why are tourists important in your point of view? Why why they are important? Why they are important? Why do you think they are important? Why tourists are important? Mm, because of the economic of, of the of my uh, sorry. Sorry? One of you, uh, don't talk at the same time. Uh, you, ro you raise your voice, by the way, one of you, okay? Can't hear you, can't it's hear you. like uh, garage, offer the shops and all the cultural understanding. Uh, good, Idar, you said many good points here saying that uh, you uh, like um, shared uh, some good points like the the economic rules of uh, of tourists okay because their visit to your own town and to the country in general and in all over the world um, like um, um, uh, contribute in the economic development and of course creating jobs that's a good job. Let's pass the coming one. What are some of the most important attractions in your city? Can you give me some examples? 
I ask this, I keep asking these questions because by the way, it is asked a lot by visitors. So that's why, okay? Can you give me like in like few, huh? few attractions in the city? Yes? Uh, despite it is Sir? small, but of course you know about them, okay? Mm -hmm. Sir? Go ahead. We have some good points for surfing mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So can you tell us? Can you, can you share them? Can you tell us about them? We have Mole Buzarkton. It's the, mm -hmm. the one of uh, of three points that there is a good waves there. What is this? Uh, is it uh, like a seaside? Yes, yeah, seaside. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what else? And also, we have um, Sakala. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, old things. We have like uh, um, some people. Uh, uh, some people sell uh, some old things that that visitors. Uh, uh, you you it. mean you mean uh, antiquities? Antiquities. I think. Mm, mm. Okay. Good. Okay. Good. Yeah. So let's pass to number four now. What accommodations can be found in your city? We already talked about types of hotels: the hotel, the motel, the hostel the chain hotels and business and conference hotels. What types you got here? And of course, the, the hotel apartment. What kind of um, like uh, accommodations you got in this city? Can you share them? Actually, we have all of them. OK, good. OK, good. Even, I, I, uh, even uh, business and, um, and no. conference hotels? I don't think so. Maybe no. there are, there are uh, showrooms in big hotels that can be used for that um, purpose. Um, yes. Yeah. But, and there is also, um, uh, I, I'm not sure if there is like chain hotels, those um, brands that are uh, like. We have uh, just Sofitel. Uh, okay, good. Okay, good. So, uh, uh, and of course, apartment hotels. So, approximately, the most of types are found here. Let's um, directly pass to reading practice. Okay. Um, before we pass to reading practice, can you tell me what do you know about this city? Can you share some? Uh, suppose, for example, that one of tourists asks you about the city. Share some points. What do you think? Or what do you know about it? Students? Students, are you there? Actually, I don't, I don't know where uh, things about it. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Any, anyone else? Okay, good. Let's, um, maybe you don't have uh, like a lot of information. So let me just give you a few minutes huh, to read this text. Okay. Okay. I'll do my best to make it look better. Okay. So could you read this text? Uh, for a few minutes. Sir, it's not clear. Uh, Can you zoom it a little bit? Okay, we'll do that. Okay, we'll do that. Mm-hmm. And yes. now? Yes, thank you so much. Okay. Finished? Finished reading? Not yet, sir. Okay, go ahead.
Well, a volunteer to read the first paragraph. Students? Yes, sir. Okay, a volunteer to read the first paragraph. Sir? Okay, go ahead. Esawera, formerly Mogador, Atlantic Port City, Western Morocco, midway between Safi and Agadir. The sun was occupied, occupied by yeah. mm -hmm. occupied. Occupied by uh, foreign nation, mm -hmm. and then um, Carta, Carthaginian, mm -hmm. and was mentioned in the in the chronicle of the Carthaginian explorer Hanno the 5th mm -hmm. century BC. Mm -hmm. Medieval charts show it medieval, as Mugador. Medieval charts. charts. Mm -hmm. Medieval charts show it as Mugador, which means safe in encourage, in, 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 in yes. Encourage. It stands on a peninsula 10 to 20 feet three six meters above sea level and it's time with the heavy tides it's almost an island city island city its harbor is uh, sheltered by offshore islets and islets islets and the rocky headland but the channel is narrow and dangerous dangerous Continue. It was founded by Sultan Sidi Muhammad ibn Abdullah in 1765 as a river port Agadir. It was uh, installed to extend commerce. On the left. Okay, okay. One else, uh, another uh, okay volunteer, another reader. Any one of you? Sorry. Mm -hmm. Any one of you? Other students? Other students? Which then? Yes, sir. Read. On the line, the side uh, stretch miles of sand dunes uh, stood, uh, studded mm -hmm. with the uh, barrel and the uh, beyond and forests of Argan, Morocco, uh, Ero Erode. Ironwood, uh, Ironwood, Ironwood, uh, a, spe a species unique uh, to the country, temperate climate and and uh, fine beaches have uh, made the city a bathing resort, and uh, its its excellent ocean breezes have e made ex excellent the, excellent ocean excellent ocean breezes have um, made in a destination for, for wide surfing. The old city Medina, which was uh, designed, um, designated, designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site, um, is a popular in a popular tourist destination and is famous uh, for its uh, numerous riads, type, uh, type uh, of bed and breakfast. Esawira is known for its artisan, its uh, artisan industry, um, industries, industries, uh, notably inlaid uh, cabinet work. It is uh, connected by a road with Safi, Marrakesh, and Agadir. Nice job. Okay, someone else to reread the first paragraph. 
let me call, for example, another student. نافع معروفي نافع read the text if you can نافع ريدا ريدا شهاب عادل بنيفو عادل إدار إيه سالا فورمري مونغادور أتلانتيك بارك بارك سيتي وسترن موروكون ويد ميدوي سافي أندرادير the seat was occupied by Phoenicians and then Arthur Genese and was mentioned uh, and the cornice of the Carthaginian Explorer Hallow. Explorer show it as the Mogador, which mm -hmm. means safe on un Charles. It stands mm -hmm. on a um, simple uh, thing at um, 23 at 6 meters above mm -hmm. sea level and at time with with the heavy cities are most in, in Islam city. Mm -hmm. Its harbor is sheltered by offshore and a rocky hull along the side is narrow and dangerous. It was founded uh, by Sultan Sidi Muhammad ibn Abdullah um, as a rebel port to Agadir. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was answered to extend command. Okay. Well, can you tell me, uh, like, uh, the date of the foundation, uh, starting from the, the paragraph number one? Mm -hmm. One of you? Sir, could you repeat the question, please? Uh, what is the date? What is what is the date of the city foundation? Okay. Uh, according to the text. Yes, it's seventeen sixty-five. That's a good job. By Sultan Sidi Muhammad bin Abdullah. That's a nice job. Well, what are the information that you can like um, the most important um, uh, items uh, that you can um, find out uh, from the first paragraph in relation to the history and climate of the city? It was for commerce, sir. Mm -hmm. So at the beginning, it was like installed to extend commerce. What mm -hmm. else? Mm -hmm. What What about its climate? I didn't, I didn't get it. Um, okay. What about its uh, like geographic side? Yes, it's between, uh, it's a midway between Staffi and Dagadir. And particularly, there is a keyword here which is important. It is 
peninsula. Yeah, okay, it, so it is it, like a peninsula. Okay, peninsula means that is partially, um, partially like um, uh, uh, found on, um, uh, uh, like uh, uh, on the sea. Okay, so partially found on, on the sea. Okay, so it is a kind of peninsula. Okay, nice job. What about the second paragraph? What about the second paragraph? The most important items. There are some that, of course, are like um, are bold. Okay, are bold, are in bold. Mm -hmm. Whenever, for example, you find this word I put in bold here, like windsurfing. So it has to do with activities that destination of offers. Okay. Yes. You got also here the Medina, which is the old city. Okay. And you got here a very important item in uh, like uh, the city history that because it is classified by UNESCO as one of the world heritage sites. And this is very important uh, element in. Uh, of course, in the history of the city, and it is, uh, uh, of course, in its modern history, okay, because this, um, it's just like 20 years ago, okay, so it is not so old, this kind of designation by the UNESCO uh, of the, to the city as, of course, uh, world heritage. Then you got Elaid cabinet work. You know, of course, Elaid, you know Elaid? You know Elaid? No, sure. So, Elaid is the very famous kind of wood huh? that is found in the city that is used for decoration of tables, chairs, and so, and sometimes for souvenirs that uh, tourists take. So, it is called Elaid cabinet, cabinet artwork or Elaid. Okay, you know Elaid? You get it now? It's a kind of wood, okay? Kind of wood used to produce tables. And um, and I mean chairs and also some souvenirs, some small ones, including chess, huh? chess boards, and so. Okay, you get it now. Elaid. Yes, sir. Okay, good job. Well, um, can you tell me? Um, okay. Mm -hmm. What do, according to the text, what do riads offer? Riads, that are of course like old buildings renovated to be like hotels. What do they offer? What do they offer? Just that. Yeah, so it is B and okay, it is called B and B. Okay, so mm -hmm. bed and breakfast, breakfast. Okay, bed and breakfast. That's good job. Let's consider these questions. Okay, one of you to read. Well. Go ahead. The first question is Savera was funding. And, uh, and, and I'm not I'm not asking I'm not asking to give answers, just read questions, okay? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, Savera was founded in A 1915, B 1765, C 19 uh, uh, 19 um, 15. 15, yes. Mm -hmm. Two. What was the old name of a Savera? A. Mm -hmm. Mazagan, B. Mogador, C. Anfa. Mm -hmm. Three, which sportive activity is not mentioned in the text? Mm -hmm. Football, windsurfing, baseball. Mm -hmm. The climate in this area is mostly A. Temperate, B. Chilly, C. Dry. Mm -hmm. Which tree is mentioned in the text? Mm -hmm. Olea, palm tree, Argan. Okay, Olea, palm tree. And again, okay. Uh, take a few minutes to answer these questions, like um, two to three minutes. Okay. 
think about them. Uh, let me, of course, share with you on um, the conversation box for sure. I share with you the whole thing. Okay. I'll, show, I'll share with you, of course, the, the document that includes the text so that you can work like um, in proximity, if you like. Here it is. Here it is. Confirm to me if you receive the text. Uh, I mean the whole document, text and assignments. Is it received? Soon, is it received? Yes, yes, okay, good. Yes, okay, yes. good. So we can, of course, open it up on your own computer and work on it. A few minutes are given to do the task, then we come back soon. Well, let's consider question number one. Student one, one of you. Is Sarah uh, was funded in Sarah? Uh, yeah, go Sarah ahead. Sarah was funded in uh, 1765. That's correct answer, okay. Number two. Number two. What was the old name of a Sawira uh, Mugabada? Is that correct? Of course not. Anyone else? Any one yeah. of the other students? It is the. So the correct Mugabada. answer. The correct Anto. yeah. The, the correct answer is B. Okay. So the correct answer is. B, that's good. What about number three? Number three. Sure. Okay, go ahead. Football and baseball. Uh, football and baseball? Really? It's not mentioned in the text. I think it's football. That's correct. That's correct. Both of them. Which sportive activity is not mentioned in the text? That's uh, that's good. So football and baseball, that's correct. Which yeah. sportive? Okay, so uh, not the opposite, of course. Not uh, not the one mentioned is when surfing. So uh, mm -hmm. the sportive with, um, uh, activity which is not mentioned, we got to like football and baseball. That's correct job. Let's pass to number uh, four. One of you. It has to do with the climate. The climate in Sarada is mostly chilly. According to the text, it's temperate. Okay? Means it mm -hmm. means it is changeable from time to time. Okay? It's Temper. not like that static. Yes. Chilly, I agree, especially morning. Okay? But the one mm -hmm. we consider is 
temperate, okay? Temperate. Of course, it okay. is not dry, okay? Because it is on this side, okay? Yes. So it is temperate, okay? Well, we repeat. So the city was founded in like 1765. Its old name is uh, Mogador, it is, uh, as it is mentioned, uh, it is answer B. And with the sportive activity, which is not mentioned in the text, is baseball and football. The climate in the city is temperate. And the tree mentioned in the text, the tree that is mentioned in text, what is it? So we got three ones here. Which one is mentioned in the text? Sargon. Yes, that's correct. That's correct. Okay. So we got here three choices earlier. Palm tree huh? and Ergan. Okay. So the one that is mentioned in the text is C. Okay. Is C. Okay. Uh, though, of course, even uh, on the city um, streets, we may find some palm trees. Okay. Nice job. Let's pass now to come in a uh, list of vocabularies, okay? You consider, okay? You consider this activity. Okay. One of you to read instructions. One of you to read instructions? Yes. Go ahead. So, column A, we have Medina. Uh, Max, no, no, sorry, you read, yes. no, you read. Match each, you... match each of the words on column A with its corresponding definition on column B. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Read the whole thing. Colon A. Column A. We have Medina, visit, beach, and late, excited. Colon B. B. A local one, a local question is somewhere for decoration. Mm -hmm. Two, area of sand and the seaside. Mm -hmm. Three, positive emotion to something. Mm -hmm. Four, an action of traveling to see something. Mm -hmm. Five, historical city. A good job, okay? Good job. Okay, take like um, two to three minutes to do this activity. Okay, sir. You have to link between items you have on column A and definitions you have on column B. Well, let's do this activity, okay? Mm -hmm. Students, okay, one of you. Sure. Other students. There is not only one or two students in this uh, session, there are many. I can see that the list is full, but just few of you participate.
Okay, volunteer. One of you. Quickly. Sure. Go ahead. Hey, Medina. Medina is a historical city. So, yes, that's correct. So, A goes with five. The Medina is the historical city or like the old city. That's correct. Yes. What about B? Mm, visit is an action of traveling to see something. The action of traveling to see something. C? Beach is an area of sand in the seaside. That's correct. And of course, it gives like a um, uh, place to tourists, of course, to um, enjoy. Uh, yes. Uh, like the, the yeah sunsets and uh, and so and of course some uh, sportive activities. Uh, mm -hmm. D. Um, and then there's a local craft and the sarana for decoration. That's correct. And I told you already that illid is a kind of wood that is very common in the city, from which of course some very uh, distinguished, uh, highly distinguished tables and chairs are produced. And also, of course, um, some other items like chess boards and some other souvenirs used by tourists. Uh, that's a good job. Uh, by the way, uh, the Irlaid is very common in the area. The coming one, Ixairin. Ixairin is not is a positive emotion to something. Yes, excitement, feeling like happy that something with something or that something happens. That's uh, cool. Look at this vocabulary. Read the conversation carefully, then complete it with the missing words from the list. Exciting. Coast, fine, later, love, argan, go, wither, good, visit, first, planning a trip to Isawel. So here there is a conversation between Mehdi and Sofia. Okay, so Mehdi, hi, Sofia. How have you been? Sophia, there is a gap that you have to fill. And you, where are you going? Mehdi, well, I am here to take a bus to Isawera on the Atlantic, a gap of Morocco. Can you believe it, Sophia? How free space, exclamation mark. Tell me about it. What can you see there? Meji? Sure. Come on. This is my and free space. Time visiting this place. But I have heard free space. Thinks about it. Sophia? Why are you going to free space? There. Exactly. Meji? This place has a nice free space and it is located near Marrakesh. It has a lot of biodiversity, for example, islands, seabirds, and wildfire or wildlife like there. The best of all is the production of free space. Sophia, it sounds really interesting. Uh, I, free space, testing argan oil. Maybe I should plan a trip to this place next time. Beji, yes. Don't miss the opportunity to free space. This place, if you are on vacation or have a chance to go. Sophia, see you. Free space. Come on. Beji, let's keep in touch. So it's up to you to fill in the blanks to complete this dialogue between Sophia and Meji, planning like a trip to your own town. Hurry up. Is this clear for you? Students? 
is the task clear for you? Yes, sir. Um, there are some some words that we can repeat it or no? In fact, no, because as you see, if you count, you'll find this 11 terms, 11 mm -hmm. gaps. Do yes. your best. Yeah. Okay,
students high again we pass to correction as i told you uh i was talking but the mic was disabled so now i repeat what he said let's pass to correction volunteers as usual let's start with gap number one what do you think is the best answer yes fine fine and you where are you going so we got uh, hi sofia how have you been fine and you where are you going that's the correct answer um the coming one so let me type it the first let me type it the first one is okay let me type it to you where um fine and you okay so the correct answer is fine uh, of course number one let me number them fine okay good i keep writing them on the on the box on the conversation box number two of course it is g correct answer of course it is g okay come in uh, free space one of you here one of you quickly uh -huh. Sorry. okay Sorry. okay i have the problem the endurance yes. okay no problem no problem uh Idar, if you can hear me yes, I can. okay uh, what what do you think is the correct answer for number two Mm -hmm. so oh. it is huh cool. coast good coast okay post what else Uh, number three, how? How just, exciting! Just answer. Uh -huh, how? How exciting! Tell me about it. What can you see there? Uh, how exciting! Okay, so exciting is the correct answer. Okay, exciting means enjoyable. Yes. Uh, like something good and. Um, mm -hmm. Come in one. Sure, this is my. This is my first time visiting this place. But first I have time. Heard things about it. Okay, so coast then uh, exciting then first. Okay. First time visiting. Uh, next. But I have heard good things about it. Good things about it. That's fine. So I, ha I have heard good things. Good things about it. Next. Why are you going to go there exactly? Why are you going to go there exactly? That's correct. Mm -hmm. Why are you going to go there exactly? Uh -huh. This place has a nice weather and it's located near Marrakesh. It has a lot, a lot of biodiversity, for example. Nice, we nice weather. Correct job. Mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. Nice weather and it is located near Marrakesh. There's a lot of biodiversity. You know the biodiversity? What do you mean by that biodiversity? Biodiversity. 
Biodiversity that there are a lot of like flora and fauna, like a lot of plants, a lot of kind of trees, a lot of animals, a lot of birds. That's what we mean by biodiversity, okay? Uh, the sea, the, the sun, the sand, mm -hmm. uh, and, so. and the weather, which is like uh, warm, okay? And of course, um, rain, all these things, like contribution, which is called biodiversity, but principally, lot of types of animals and plants and trees. Come in one in the production of Argan. Okay, islands, seabirds, and wildlife, wildlife. There, the best of all is the production of of Argan. Okay, so it is the coming word is Argan. The scientific uh, name of Argan is Argana spinosa. Okay, Argan. So the coming one. It sounds really interesting. I love uh, testing argan oil. Maybe I should uh, plan a trip to this place next time. So the correct term is I love. Testing. I love testing yes. oil. Yeah, I, 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 I love tasting. You know, to taste. Yes. Okay, good. Yes, sir. Yeah, so we say, for example, that this type of food tastes good. Come in one. Yes, don't miss the opportunity to visit. To visit. To visit. To visit. To visit. Okay. To visit this place if you are on vacation or have a ch or have a chance to go. Sophia, see you later. Let's see you, see you later. Okay, see you later, Medi. Okay, see you later. Okay, later. Okay. So, I guess this is the last term. Yes, that's it. Let me repeat answers. Gap, okay. And of course, you follow with me and you can take notes because I need you to pass to role play. Sorry, to role play this conversation. Beg your pardon. To uh, role play this conversation. So the first gap, fine. The second, coast. The third, exciting. The fourth, first. The fifth, good. The sixth, go. The seventh, wither. The eighth, again. The ninth, love. The tenth, visit. And the eleventh and last later. Okay. Well, practice a little bit this conversation because I need to pass to role play. Uh, two, of course, I'll choose two students, and one of you, one of them play the role of Meji, and the other plays the role of Sophia. Okay, take a few minutes.
activate the, the mic. We'll come back again. Well, let's pass now to role playing. I need two students. So me, Wafa and Mehdi. So Wafa and? Idan and uh, Nuhayla, you go ahead. One to play the role of Mehdi and one to play the role of Sofia. You read clearly, you raise your voice. Go ahead. No. Okay, sir. Hi, Sofia. How have you been? Fine. And you? Where are you going? Well, I'm here to take a bus to Isawira on the Atlantic coast of Morocco. Can you believe it? How exciting. Tell me about it. What can you see there? Sure. This is my first time visiting this place, but I have heard good things about it. Why are you going to visit there exactly? Uh, this place is, uh, has a nice weather and it's located near Marrakesh. It uh, has a lot of biodiversity, for example, islands, seabirds and wildlife there. The best of all, all is the production of argan. It sounds really interesting. I love this in argan oil. Maybe I should plan a trip to this place next time. Yes, don't miss the opportunity to visit this place if you are on vacation or have a chance to go. See you later, Mehdi. Let's keep in charge. Okay, good job. So, as you see, this conversation contains some uh, idioms, uh, some phrases that are frequently used, like this one. Let's keep in touch. What do you think it means? Mm, let's keep on con on contact. Huh? Let's keep on contact. Let's yes, uh, yes. Let's uh, uh, let's talk again. Let's uh, meet again. Okay, so that's the meaning of let's keep in touch. And of course, it is less formal, huh? like neutral language used between colleagues and friends. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I repeat the pronunciation of this word, biodiversity, okay? Biodiversity, in order not to make any mistake in its uh, pronunciation. Wildlife, it has to do with nature, okay? Wildlife, okay? Just to remember. Birds, of course, uh, most of them are seabirds, huh? particularly seagulls that found in the city, okay? Um, Two other students. Two other students. Two other students. Well, I call you by names. Ayub. Ayub, I wonder if you can hear me? Don't think so. Mohammed Hafidi? Unfortunately not. Kautar Bahnam or Bahanam or something like that? Kautar isn't here. Rabia? Jni? Guys, I'm asking two students to pass to role playing. Okay, we have already first two. We need another two. Hasna Bilakti. No responses from her. Nzaha Bugazel. Students, I don't like this game. Uh, most of you. Just open up uh, Teams and go somewhere else. Okay, so I don't like this. Khawla Uman. Yes. Uh, okay, we got uh, one to role play. Uh, Mariama. Mariama can't hear me. Sana, Mishbar. I wonder if you can hear me. Sana, Mishbar. Unfortunately not. 
نفع معروفي نفع وريو نفع زنتير نصر الله نصر الله قد مورنين unfortunately not here الشعبية أبد not here too نذهب بينيوي and she is absent وجدان بولويس okay guys I see, you yes. see yeah. you open up teams and you disappear and uh, which then Bulwiz, how are you yes sir I'm fine. you don't play the conversation you and your friend uh, human that's it yes okay go ahead so human and and which then yes sir I uh, will play the conversation. Uh, hi, Sofia. How are you then? You How raise your you voice. Doing? You raise your voice. You repeat. Hi, Sofia. How are you been? Fine. And you? Where are you going? Well, I am here to take a bus to Essaouira on uh, the, Antl the Atlantic uh, coast of Morocco. Can you believe it? How exciting. Tell me about it. What can you see there? Sure. This is uh, my first time visiting this place, uh, but I have heard um, I have heard uh, exciting things about it. Why are you going to go there exactly? Uh, this place has nice um, nice weather. And uh, it, it is uh, located near Marrakesh. It has a lot of um, biodiversity, for example, Island, seabirds, and the wildlife there. The best of all is uh, the production of Argan. It sounds really interesting. I love tasting Argan oil. Maybe I should pl plan a trip uh, to this place next time. Yes, don't miss the, the opportunity to visit this place if you are on a vac vacation or have a chance to go. See you later, Mehdi. Let's keep in touch. Very good job and uh, a nice pronunciation either. Thank you both. Let's pass now to this speaking activity. Uh, Idar, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Uh, please, if you can read these instructions. Selection of the best topics that matters the city and prepare an oral presentation. Make uh, sure you include pictures and posters. History, services, waiter, waiter um, traditions, activities to do in the city, hotels, local crafts, culture and entertainment uh, sports well uh, just to explain the speaking practice i'd like you to understand that you move from um, like uh, general to specific um, one of uh, earlier lessons we uh, and of course i asked you to prepare presentations uh, about a particular city particular touristic destination in the whole country um, and I consider this to be uh, very general. Now we move to the specific and we talk particularly on the city or about the city and we got here like uh, some categories or some uh, topics uh, that I'd like you to cover but of course I'm not um, before asking you to prepare presentations or long presentations that uh, like uh, consider uh, research and uh, some hard work i'll ask you just to share a few points in like one minute or two about one of these categories but particularly locally here in the city so we got, for example, history. One of you can talk about history briefly as it is in the text, 
maybe adding some information but of course i'd like you to be sure of it uh, and to and of course to um, like um, if you got some resources or whatever that you uh, base your work on services you can talk to us about services offered the weather you can also like in a few sentences describe the weather in different seasons uh, as you live of course long time in the town traditions you can choose one or two traditions especially um, some of them that are not very known and you share them with col colleagues then activities to do in the city you can choose like two or uh, three activities and you talk about them hotels you can tell us type of hotels and um, I don't know, I find it beneficial to avoid brands um, as much as you can because maybe we we mention some and we don't mention others, so better not to talk about brands. Local crafts, so you choose one or two crafts and you talk about them. Culture and entertainment, you choose like one of the festivities or one of the festivals or one of the activities. Uh, culturally speaking and you talk about them sports you choose a sport and you talk about it is it clear students yes sir okay good job yes, you sir, okay you. okay very nice i'll give you from two to five minutes okay so like uh, two to five minutes and i'll ask you of course to share your answers uh, I can recognize that I got uh, like four students that uh, that that interact actively with us, uh, and maybe other students that are following us, um, like um, um, uh, with eager. And uh, unfortunately, the rest they mark presence, they open up the session of teams, they mark presence, and they disappear. And of course, I uh, I don't like such uh, such uh, thing. Uh, I find it beneficial that students participate really and uh, actively interact. That of course will help them to acquire the thing. Uh, take a few minutes. Come back soon.
Well, students will come back again. I hope you see, see the screen. Yes. Students, are you here? Yes, sir. Can you yes, see this? Sir. Can you see the screen clearly as usual? Yes, of course. Yes. Good job. So one of you, of course, to start it, uh, her uh, or his intervention. It's up to you to choose the category, uh, the topic. And uh, of course, you deliver your very short uh, like uh, talk. Uh, one of you. Who starts first? Sir? Go ahead. Mm, so I'll start with activities to do in the city. Okay, go ahead. So in El Sawira, we have uh, many places to visit. First of all, uh, visitors can go to Medina, the, the historical place, and then they can go to, to the sea, sea place for surfing, to the winter sport. Mm. And then uh, uh, there is a festival of Gnawa. Most of, uh, of uh, tourists uh, love it. And that's all. Uh, yeah, next student. Next student, you choose the category, you talk. Students. No need to call you by names, I guess, a volunteer. Hello there. Sir, I don't finished yet. Uh, you share uh, points you got. Uh, and then we, uh, of course, I'll ask you to prepare them in details, but you share points you got now. Go ahead. All right. Yeah. So, um, Esauria is now... Um, uh, the category first. First, I choose the uh, activities to do in the city. Uh, go ahead. So, Esauria is now a booming bon tourist destination. Uh, rich in history, culture, and music. It uh, boasts a range of relaxing and enjoyable things to do and see. So this is some activities that we can do. Um, visit uh, an argan oil cooperative, um, horse riding, and I don't finish yet. Uh, horse riding, where? Where can people can practice horse riding? In the beach. Uh... But uh, I don't think that is that um, professional uh, as a sport. Maybe just for taking pictures, yes? Mm, yes, yes. Okay, okay. Good job. Any other addition? Uh, you told me that you're not uh, or you haven't finished yet. Okay. Uh, so just keep uh, the ideas you start with uh, because I'll ask you, of course, to develop them coming session. Uh, next student. Sir. Who's speaking? Uh, I guess Ida, yes? No, it's not Ida. And who's he? He's Zana. Mishbar? Yeah, exactly, sir. But I, uh, I'm not finished yet, but I want to talk about tradition. Yeah, you speak up, but uh, rarely hear your voice. Uh, what's wrong? Uh, I see that your your participation is not that uh, active. Yeah, I know that, but sometimes I can hear you. That's mm -hmm. it. You work from a phone or from uh, a laptop? Yeah, I work uh, with the phone. Uh, no problem. You go ahead, yeah. you choose a topic, you share your points. Yeah, like what I am saying, but I am not finished yet, but I want to talk about it. Mm -hmm. Okay, I chose tradition. Mm -hmm. In our city, Isawara, mm -hmm. all the city, Isawara, it's, uh, it's a tradition, culture and city. 
So we have many places traditional like Skala. Uh, mm-hmm. We have two, mm-hmm. and we have uh, we have a tradition clouds to wear. Uh, mm-hmm. We can say special special clouds. Oh, special, special, special clothes. Yeah, old. Old clothes. Yeah, like the. You hike. mean you mean you mean traditional um like traditional wear. That's what you mean. Yeah, yeah, traditional mm. wear. Uh, sorry, mm. uh, like the hake. Mm-hmm. And. Uh, uh traditional houses mm-hmm. and some places we we can see some uh, some house it's uh, it's traditional and it's have a story about the culture about the that's it wonderful yes sir good points either someone else Someone else? Yes? Other students? Any other speaker? Yes? So uh, we got two uh, contributions from Sana and from uh, Ms. Modi. Next one. Sir? That's uh, Idar. Go ahead. Yes, uh, Isaura is uh, one of the most famous cities in Morocco for many reasons like um, luxury accommodation in Isaura. If you are thinking of luxury holidays, Isaura is a place to be. Uh, for example, the luxury hotel uh, Sofitel uh, Mogadol Golf and Spa and uh, Medina, uh, Medina Hotel. And uh, that's it. Uh, Medina Hotel, Sofitel Hotel, Atlas Hotel, many uh, of them. Uh, these are just among the names that I can remember, but I don't uh, prefer that students mention brands, okay? Because uh, whenever we mention brands, we need to mention all of them, but it's okay, it's go ahead, it's, uh, it's, it's okay, it's, it's normal. Uh, other students? Other students? Well, as uh, we uh, have no more uh, like contributions in relation to the speaking activity, let me just ask you to prepare presentations on one of these uh, categories, okay? Detail to deliver it for next week. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Uh, uh, who's he? Uh, Mustafa, this is Mustafa. I'm Jat. Uh, uh, Mustafa, yeah. Anything, yeah. Uh, anything to add? I had. Uh, I want to. I want to give you a short, short repres- representation about Isabela uh, from all um, these. Mustafa, there is there is something that I'd like to tell you that the most of students just open up teams and disappear. So you try to avoid this because people's interaction helps. Okay, yeah. yes. that's, that's an online class, and if you don't have like uh, uh, interactive participation, it doesn't uh, work. That's, that's at least in my own opinion. You go ahead, I'm just, uh, but very briefly. Okay, sure. Uh, so, our, so our city is very Asian city. That is that is that is goes it's uh, that is goes uh, that is old five five hundred years ago, five hundred years old. 
and it's and it's and has a, and has and has a, a very very locations very agent locations to look up to look about to look and see and and enjoy the view, its view also mm-hmm. also also somewhere city has many services like a <coughs> like this has has many jewish 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 deserts and uh, and amazigh dishes and arabic dishes the same D- these three categories the that's three categories dishes and and the weather is our city is very special city and her weather is always all whole year windy uh windy and and also and also has and also has traditions that Sawara city has its traditions being in can be seen in their clothes it and in uh, can be seen their clothes the, the women's the women's still wears al uh, milhaf and men also also wears jilaba and all and uh, and there is also traditions of mar- marriage traditions tradition also the activities and any and tourists they can they can do a lot of activities in Isawara city uh, it's there is a tradition shopping <coughs> where there is where can be found in this in the Isawara city it's like a souk like a souk or a market tradition market in the city it's very enjoyable experience and the uh, hotels Isawara has has three has three famous hotels and has three famous hotels and each hotel has its category uh, has its specialty and uniqueness and local crafts isawira has a local crafts in in skala agent agent to medina skala is very known by uh, it's, it's by selling uh, two ya woods two ya woods and they are known in arabic as arar it's very it's very uh, it's very craft it's very crafty and uh, very design uh, very de- uh, de- design designed <coughs> designed artific- artificates <coughs> culture uh, culture and entertainment is our very uh, has 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 a, has a, uh, has, a, has, a has a sport that is very uh, that has many sports and entertainment can be done uh, can be a joy. It's one of them is festival. Is a festival Gnawa uh, that uh, that that is that is happens once in a year, once in a year, uh, one once in a year, and uh, and 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 that is and that is uh, uh, organized in summer from twenty one from twenty one months six months. And sports, we can see uh, Usawira has, uh, has surfing and basketball and football. So, thank you. Thank you. I'd like just to clarify something that uh, among the local crafts, when you, to- when you talked about um, uh, that related to wood and decoration, so that is laid, okay? It is also called iron wood. And I mentioned it re- already in the lesson. When I talked about uh, like souvenirs production by local craftsmen, uh, and I talked about chess uh, boards, uh, they are produced also with lead, oh, and uh, um, uh, tables, uh, very distinguished uh, uh, tables and chairs, uh, and uh, and so um, uh, small. Um, Articles uh, use the souvenirs, of course, uh, uh, and and bought lot by tourists. Uh, the original activity, Mustafa, was to choose one of topics, but you talked about the most of them. You shared some uh, points in each uh, category. Uh, 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 to this level, uh, and uh, as uh, most of you, of course, shared their points, I'd like just to know if there is a student that uh, doesn't speak and would like to, to talk. If not, we close the session, thanking you for your participation. Anyone um, that doesn't talk and would like to do? 
as there is no one, thank you very much uh, for your. Uh, okay. Teacher, uh, you didn't add us. Uh, you didn't add our our groups in in your uh, in in your uh, in uh, in your channel. A channel, or you or yes. you say teams. Okay. Uh, um, uh, all students are added. Okay. Uh, let me. I can tell you about number of students. And uh, and by the way, um, uh, the. By the way, the reason, or oh, sorry, or the evidence that that you are added is that now you speak on Teams. Okay. Um, of course, of course, if you know a single student, if you know a, si a single student who uh, who doesn't receive, who doesn't receive the 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 links to. Uh, every Saturday listens to uh, to send uh, like um, a remark on conversations. Guys, I'd like just to close with a kind of um, homework. I'd like you to choose one of the topics um, and you prepare a detailed presentation of like 10 to 15 minutes um, detailed and uh, well uh, searched um, uh, in which of course you base your work on uh, tangible resources and I of course guide you to use ScholarVox better than internet um, except if there are some distinguished websites. Thank you very much guys and bye for now. Thank you sir, have a good day. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Thank yes, you, sir. sir. Have a good day.